Hey, what's up everybody? We're here today in beautiful downtown Vancouver, British Columbia. And I'm on a mission today to prove one thing. Is Vancouver really as bike friendly as it thinks it is? Maybe it's because I'm from Calgary on the other side of the Rockies, or maybe it was a little bit of envy, but I've always been a bit annoyed with the bike friendly reputation of Vancouver. I never felt the city did much to earn that reputation. The people rode because of the city's natural gifts. You know, beautiful scenery, great dense urban core, lots of people watching. But where were the bike lanes? Where was the infrastructure keeping cyclists safe? But all that's changed in recent years, so I'm here to see if it's time to update my impression of the city. Let's go. The first thing you notice is, yeah, there's a lot of people out on bikes. It's a summer day and lots of people are out enjoying the city. And I'm going to do the same today using uh, Mobi, Vancouver's bike share system, which is very similar to the systems you see in other cities with one little difference. So the province of BC has a mandatory helmet bylaw, which means when you take a bike from the bike share system, you also get this helmet, which you have no idea where it's been before. But it also comes with this weird little uh, helmet liner. So uh, I guess we'll give it a try. There are a few places in the city I wanted to check out, including this spot, Burrard Bridge. Now, way back in 1995, the city first tried a bike lane on this bridge, and it lasted a matter of hours before uh, it was ripped out. Outraged drivers demanded its removal, and they won. It took 20 years for the city to try again, but when they went back on it, did it properly with separation like this, you can see what happened now. It seems to be working. And it's a good bike lane. It's safe and easy, it's got good connections, and even on a Sunday afternoon, it's pretty well used. One more place I wanted to check out. Here we are on Hornby Street. This was the site of an epic bike lane battle a few years ago. Plans to uh, squeeze in a little space for bicycles were greeted with outrage from a lot of people, but mostly from business owners who thought that losing space uh, designed for cars originally would destroy their businesses. But here we are a few years later and look around. There's businesses, there's people out enjoying it. Turns out cyclists do spend money too. Perhaps what's most interesting is that the uh, same business group that once opposed bike lanes has done a 180 and now embraces cyclists. And the whole story has become almost a textbook example of the economic benefits that can be found when you embrace bike infrastructure. Okay, I'm big enough to admit that riding a bike here is actually pretty great. Keep up the good work, Vancouver. Just don't let it go to your head.